Hello and welcome to Gears Tactics. If you'd like to check out the game, there's a link in the description. And this is my first impression of the game because I have not tried it before. But what I do know about it is that apparently it is a combination between XCOM and Dawn of War. And, uh, well, I'm actually a pretty big fan of both of those games. So let's start. And we're going to be playing with Iron Man difficulty enabled, and we're going to be playing on Intermediate. After years of endless war, humanity had finally found peace. Until Emergence Day. When a monstrous new enemy, black-hearted and savage, emerged from below and laid siege to our world. Our losses have been great. Our resolve is far greater. My fellow tyrants, today, the coalition of ordered governments strikes back. These unclean beasts, these locusts, will advance no further. I, Chairman Prescott, have authorized a full planetary strike from our Hammer of Dawn weapons arsenal. On my order, the COG has placed infantry detachments in key cities to mop up any surviving locusts. For those citizens unable to evacuate to safety in time, the Coalition appreciates your sacrifice. Forgive us. This is the only way. Chin up, Private. If you can survive Prescott's bullshit, you can survive anything. He's torching the whole world to kill the grubs, Sarge. Am I ever going to see him again? I don't know. <laughs> Looking for shelter? Come on, join the party. You're gonna want to get that. Diaz. Special order, Sergeant. Proceed immediately to General Beckett's office at CIC to retrieve a classified document. Acknowledge. No, you've got the wrong gear. I just run the motor pool. You have your orders. Control out. And let me guess, you're coming too. Well, if you insist. CIC's up ahead. I'm ready for this. I am very much ready for this. I am very excited, actually, to see what the Gears universe has to offer the turn-based strategy genre. And it looks as though, to me, right now, the amount of different additions, shall we say, that they've made to the XCOM sort of way of doing things is very cool. And I suppose we'll be able to, um, you know, see what's going on here. So, yeah, we're just going to... 
Aha, okay, so it's mouse one, not actually mouse two that you're gonna be using, so it's left click to move, which is one of the more notable drone. changes, I suppose, is me that, that I immediately see, at least. And then we're going to be shooting this guy. Of course, this is the tutorial, so it's gonna be very easy. But have you noticed also range. how we are attacking in kind of like a, a burst way? So it's not just one shot, it's a burst. So let's have a look and see whether... Yeah, so we have a 12% chance to hit. And they want me to do this just literally because of the tutorial. And personally, what I would have done is I'd probably move this guy the over here to this broken, piece of cover and then wrong. shoot from the side if it was me. But we're kind of being taught how to how to play this so yeah you as you can see the, 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 the characters are now telling us to go over there I, I but trust me i have not played this before but for some reason um they told me to do exactly the thing that i just mentioned so <laughs> there is that there is that now also bear in mind that there are are no grids there's no grid there's no predetermined area that your units can stand in every single piece of ground that you see they can inhabit it so there's not like a grid or hex based system Open like in XCOM for example right. all right TACCOM gives you more detailed information use R to toggle TACCOM so there's the there's the TACCOM so you can see that we're going to be getting massive damage and you can even see a um a brief overview of how much you're actually going to be doing in terms of damage so you have 250 as a regular hit and then with a critical you do 500 so let's see if we actually get a critical yep it seems like we did very nice indeed yeah we're getting a partial hit there that's absolutely fine now bear in mind that as we progress through the game we are going to be unlocking various mods for our weapons there's no such thing as upgrading your your weapon itself into something completely different but instead you're just going to have mods that can change the way that the weapon works so in my opinion that's pretty cool and as we can see here most abilities like moving or shooting require actions some abilities such as moving a long distance can cost multiple actions each unit has three actions that you can split between movement shooting and skills the hammer strikes aren't going to wait for us Finish off these grubs so we can get to the CIC. All right, yeah, so I'm pretty happy about this. So if we move over here, we're basically going to get immediately down to business. Like that, for example. Oh, yes, like that. And uh, now, here's the thing. Whenever you kill something with this, with a chainsaw, you gain an action back for the rest of your squad which in my opinion is very, very cool. So I can actually move here or let me see if I, I can actually move uh, over here and we can flank this guy. Bear in mind that I don't think I have any more actions. Or do I? Yes, I do actually. Ooh, that's intriguing. All right, so I guess I will attack. We're not gonna get, um, we're not gonna get a huge amount of damage out of this. But that doesn't really matter because then we can just move Sid over here. Oh, actually, never mind. Never mind. I'm actually not going to move Sid anywhere because he's just going to bayonet charge at them. Boom. Oh, yes. Take him down, Sid. Thank you. All right. Let's move. And then everyone reloads automatically so you don't have to do that in between fights, which I think is pretty cool. You clearly know where you're going. So this is another thing with Gears Tactics. You're going to be outnumbered basically almost all the time. But the reasoning for that is to make it more intense. It makes it so much more intense because you're going to have the ability to absolutely murder every single thing that you come across if you have the right strategy. That's the point. Because as you can see, we're now being introduced to the Overwatch ability and we will be using it. There we go. So this is a Conal thing as well. Um, most games nowadays are doing the the Conal Overwatch because um, the previous XCOM that came out that 
had Overwatch in a 360 degree angle, and it was very, very powerful indeed. I'm talking about the original XCOM here, not XCOM 2. Um, um, well, shall we say the one that came out in 2016, I think? Mm, or the one that came out in 2012. I'm actually not sure on the dates, so don't quote me on that. But anyway, we're just going to place the Overwatch the here. And this guy will also be doing the next one. So let's move him over there. And then we will I'll do another Overwatch. I, I actually really like the way that the Overwatch is done here because it's not a it's not a predetermined cone. You can actually decide how large or how small it actually is, which I think is very cool. So let's do that. All right, this is going to be hilarious. Yeah, they just got absolutely massacred. Oh, look at that. Wow, we actually missed that other one approaching us. Sid is absolutely murdering everything. And we do have uh, one of those uh, hammer burst grunt guys over there. And they're both using Overwatch now, hilariously enough. I can't move until you disable their Overwatch. All right, so use disabling shot. So we can now switch to our different weapons and then we'll be able to use disabling shot on this guy, which is what we will do. Hopefully we'll be able to hit. Yeah, there we go. Very nice. And that means that we can now move so we can get into a flanking position. Obviously this is all the tutorial, so it's very, very simple, very easy. We just need to follow instructions and things like that. But later down the line, we're going to have boss battles. We're going to have very intense firefights. And I can't wait, actually. I feel like the Gears universe suits a game like this extremely nicely. Unfortunately, we did seem to have a bit of a problem there where we uh, we didn't do as much damage as I anticipated. But we did down him, as you can see. He dies in two turns, as you can see there, which is very nice. So we're just going to clean these guys up. Nice. And there we go, execution. So executions, as you can see, ah, yeah, this is what I actually uh, meant earlier when I said if you kill them with those abilities, you gain an additional action point. But you can see here that it's basically executions. Apparently, that is the thing. So I was a little bit, a little bit wrong there, but whatever the case, all you need to know is executing stuff gives you cool stuff back, which I very much appreciate. So let's see what we can do here. Boom! Take them down. Take him down. Well, t shall we say, uh, tear him up, I guess. Uh, yeah, okay. So we just now need to shoot the, the last remaining guy. 84% chance should be enough to take him out. And we got some more enemies coming in as well. Now, bear in mind that obviously if this was a real mission and not the tutorial, we would be having some pretty big difficulties because we've got to reload, you know? Above our pay grade, Sergeant. Let's just get to the CIC before we're flash fried. All right, so now we have to get to the command building. So I'm thinking we're probably just going to go up here. And I'm thinking, you know what? We're going to go... We're going to go behind here. And we're going to put him in an overwatch. Because these guys are all going to come around the side here. And that makes all area. the sense in the world. And now we're going to get this guy. He's going to go and he's going to execute this friend here. There we go. We're going to gain an action point back with Sid, but that's really not actually anything that I care about dramatically. So otherwise, we'll just do another Overwatch roundabout here. These guys are melee, so I personally don't think we're going to have too many difficulties dealing with them. As you can see, they're very, very easy to um, repel at this point. And hopefully they won't get into melee range. Oh, they're actually getting into melee? Are you serious? Okay. I did not realize they had such a, a, a good uh, movement speed. I thought that they would probably stop a little bit early, but apparently not. Okay, so... I would like to move over here, but we can't. Because there is an attack of opportunity. Attack of opportunity is an ability that basically works with all melee characters in these kinds of games. Well, not all, but most have that kind of thing happening. So basically what you've got to do is you've got to kill the thing and then you can move out of its melee range. So let's just take it out. There we go. Easy enough. Very easily flanked. And bear in mind that uh, Sid has like a regeneration ability by the looks of things, which is really cool. And I'm going to move him over here. As you can see, most things are um, very freeform. The movement is very, very freeform as well, which I very much like. All right, let's take him out. Got him. 
Okay, now we can move forward. Uh, I should probably reload first, actually. There yep. we go. And now we'll move forward over here. Uh, I can only move forward a little bit because we only have another little bit of orders remaining. So now it's the enemy's turn. And obviously nothing really to worry about. Okay, so let's move over there. And Diaz, oh uh, yeah, we need to do a we need to do an Overwatch 100%. I feel like they're gonna, I think they're probably gonna they're gonna, probably gonna come over here. I would assume, but maybe they won't. We'll see. Okay, so we can move him. I'd like to move him over there, but he's gonna use all of his action points to get over there, which is probably not a good idea. That's a thing that I also suffered from in XCOM. I was always like, okay, dash everywhere, dash absolutely everywhere. No, not a good idea. Ah, uh, there we go. They're stopping a little bit short, which is good. Very nice to see that. And I think we should have a pretty decent time here. here. You know, if this was not the tutorial, I would have the grenade available, and I'd be able to use this right here, and, well, it would be a very easy thing for us to accomplish. All right, so I'm thinking we'll probably just shoot. Nice kill. I, 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 we, I really wish we had some AoE, but we can... This is the cool thing about Gears Tactics. We can make multiple attacks in one turn. So you can see here that I can actually take down more than one unit because of the orders system. Well, should we say the action system? There we go. So there's another one down. And if I wanted to, I could, I could kill another one again with the same guy. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to try and kill this with Diaz. And there we go. The battlefield is now clear. Moving up. Ready. Got Reavers doing a flyby. Inside. Go. Now, what are we looking for? most classified looking file they got. <clears throat> the hell? Plenty of time to read that later. We're in for a fun ride, you and me. No. I told Prescott, I don't do that shit anymore. Time to go. Couldn't hide out in the motor pool forever, Diaz. Move! Hammer's closing in fast! Get back to the APC! Dropped off reinforcements. Here they come. Wretches. Well, now we have frag grenades available. Yes, we certainly do. But that is going to be it for this episode. If you would like to see more of Gears Tactics, then by all means let me know down in the comments. If you'd like to check out the game for yourself, there's a link in the description. I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.